This morning in our Saturday sessions, a special return visit from Jesse Mallon. We first caught up with Mallon in 2016 down in New York's East Village, where he's been an icon for decades, followed by a performance right here in our studio. In May of last year, Mallon suffered an unexpected medical emergency, one that put his life and career in jeopardy. 16 months later, Mallon is determined to get back on his feet and is getting help from an unbelievable lineup of star-studded friends. They've all contributed to the just-released album Silver Patron Saints, the songs of Jesse Mallon. We'll have Mallon's new performance in a moment, but first, here's Anthony Mason's chat with Jesse. Keep on shining down my life. Jesse Mallon had just celebrated the 20th anniversary of his solo debut last year. When he experienced a sudden and strange sensation. Just walking down the street, I started to feel kind of weird in my hips. I thought, oh, I'm just gonna shake this off. I was in this restaurant, I was like, oh, I'm in pain. It must be sciatica. At dinner in New York's East Village, the pain became so sharp that Mallon had to lay on the floor. It's like traumatic or something. It is traumatic. Yeah. In front of his friend, Jimmy G. What were you thinking in the middle of this? I time? was in a panic because I know he's very strict about, <laughs> about his health and about everything. Lead singer of the band Murphy's Law, Jimmy G's known Malin since their early days in the 80s hardcore punk scene. And he was like, it's my boots, my new boots. So I pulled his boots off. Yeah. And when his feet hit my hands, it, <laughs> it's hard to talk about it. It's like his feet were like ice. Yeah. And I knew something was really bad. And I was like, I don't care what anybody says, we're getting an ambulance right now. I'm still here in the hospital. Mallon would spend nearly three months in the hospital. A rare spinal stroke left him paralyzed from the waist down. Doctors couldn't explain the cause. Which has to be really frustrating. That, yeah, it is. It definitely messes with your mind when you don't know why it happened. The 57-year-old singer had already seen his share of hard times. I had had a, a crazy life at a young age where, you know, I lost my mom. I, she was a single mom. We grew up, me and my sister, my mom, and, and she died of cancer young, and I had to take care of her a bunch of years in my later teens. And then recently, as we got a little older, I lost a lot of friends, yep. you know. I thought, I kind of knew how wacky things could be, but it was like, oh yeah, you think, you know, all right, here, try this. Since his punk days with bands Heart Attack and Degeneration, right, everybody got gear and then they became DJs. And Mallon has always preached PMA, <laughs> positive mental attitude. Sometimes I don't have PMA, I have NMA, negative <laughs> Mallon attitude. You know, I felt like I didn't have anything worthy to anybody. Like I was just, you know, some subhuman mess now. How do you deal with that? You know, you just keep coming back. You just don't give up. I'm going. South America for reasons of repair. He flew to a clinic in Argentina for stem cell treatments and intense physical therapy. There's something good about being upright. 17 months later, he's making slow progress. And how far are you able to go on something like this? Um, the furthest I ever went by my house was like around a block, like a full block. Yeah. That probably felt like a huge victory. It though. was, yeah. Actually, did it twice. The music community has rallied to help cover his medical costs. The walls are paper thin. On the new Benefit album, Silver Patron Saints, the songs of Jesse Mallon, he's supported by friends like Lucinda Williams. And I'm sleeping with the gold. Baby, baby, come on before the summer is gone. Billy Joe Armstrong. She don't love me now. She don't love me now. And Bruce Springsteen. The emotional boost is is really huge. Just hearing these people that they they went so deep. I don't know. It really touched me. Oh, you don't love me. In December, Mallon will make his comeback at two benefit concerts at New York's Beacon Theater. It gives me something to look forward to, really, the, the, that, and to work towards. It's gonna be an emotional night, I think. No, I'm already thinking about it, it's emotional. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. This whole thing is emotional, I'm becoming an emo guy. You know? <laughs> what are you looking forward to most about it? Hearing myself and the band together again in a beautiful room like that, and probably, as corny as this sounds, 
just walking out there, that first moment, and, and what that's going to be like seeing everybody, I just hope I don't cry. <laughs>